This right here is, a, is, a, is, a, is typical of what we see now in air conditioning systems. I, you look at air conditioning systems that are mounted in the attic space of a home. These are uh, cooling systems that are in a hot area. You're taking condensing air through this air conditioning system and dis dispersing it throughout the premises. What happens is now that machine is fighting the heat of the attic area and that, that heat mixed with that, with that super cooled air, if it's escaping from anywhere on the system, is now condensing and forming water, which we know when the water drips off the system onto the roof, we have mold growth. Now, how do you typically re remediate those type of problems? Are those considered, you know, uh, serious problems as it relates to mold? Well, I, I see that there really are no real serious problems unless there's been a water intrusion episode that's been happening for an extended period of time. A roof leak? Or a, a, roof, a serious roof leak. And just as we've, we've just experienced here in South Florida, we've had conditions that were slightly above normal. With <laughs> we have four yeah. hurricanes, a little wind-driven water, right. you know, it, but those are conditions that we're looking at every day now. Um, the, what I feel it's most important is, to, is for the homeowner to understand that his, his greatest concern is the maintenance of his home, and, and that's what we, we talk about, maintenance. It's to make sure that he has an inspection done annually or biannually by a professional that understands that's looking for these conditions because if you allow something to continue to grow it will turn into a condition that has to have a full-blown remediation now when you have a lot of the inspections you've done um, a few of which i've been involved in when you have an air conditioning issue how do you usually resolve that where there's condensation there's mold growing on there um, how do you typically remediate those type of problems well basically the air conditioning system is dismantled and then completely sanitized using a microbiocide, all the blower motors, wheels, transistors, everything inside the case of the system with the, with the insulation being replaced on the case of the, of the air handler itself. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the ductwork itself now, it, it usually can become detached from the unit. Vibration and everything causes slight movements in rigid components and we'll have air leaking and that that leakage of air is what causes the condensation to be created on the exterior of the unit and which now left left alone grows mold okay so those t would you say that those kind of mold problems are more typical that you're finding or is are you finding a variety of different well, types we, of situations? Well, we do find a variety of situations due to the fact that we're just coming we're at the tail end of examining all of the hurricane damage. But on a typical, for a typical year, well, usually it'll be air conditioning systems, it'll be uh, below window areas that have had water intrusion, it'll be some walls that have sprinkler systems that are misadjusted, that are spraying onto the stucco instead of spraying onto the grass. Okay, so that's... That, well, that you want to sense. water your grass, not your house. Right. <laughs> You're right. The, uh, are there any other things that you want to point out to anyone uh, at home? Basically, the, what's, what's really important is that you want to make sure when you're having an inspection that there's no cross-contamination, that when they move from one area to the next, that things that they sanitize in between samples, that, you know, that your technician is wearing, um, wearing gloves to handle, these, to handle these. Because, as we know, 20% of the biomass of the Earth is mold. What we want to do is make sure that we're not cross-contaminating materials and we're using proper sampling protocols and techniques. Okay, now there's some other pictures that you wanted to show everyone at home just well, to I mean, give these them an are, idea. These are, these, are, these are locations that, this is typical of what you'll, you'll see on an air conditioning duct register. This is the handler right here where you have your duct attachment to the top of the handler. Right. And here we have all this, this right here, is this mold growth is from the condensation, there's a leak there. You can see there's no tape along there that, that connects the, the handler to the ductwork. And air is escaping through here, and as it escapes through here, has now created all this air, has all this moisture, which condenses on the ductwork and now feeds now, these microbial organisms. Now, that picture looks pretty bad, in my opinion. How serious is that? Well, that duct, that, that duct right there, I would recommend for that to be removed and the, and the air handler to be sanitized. Now, it's what basically. is the typical cost of something like that? Um, 
on the average, I would say that 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 cost right there is a little over a thousand dollars, due to the fact that the sanitization of the system and the removal of the ductwork, and they do establish engineering controls when this when these are being done. Okay. And engineering controls is an isolation of the area with a HEPA filtration system to create a negative pressure in the area so that anything, that, if the system is breached, if there's a breach in the enclosure, everything is being pulled into the, into the enclosure and not being exhausted out. Okay, great. Okay. Well, Roy, thank you very much. I think a lot of this information was very useful. Oh, it's my pleasure. And, uh, you know, I think what we're finding is that I think this is a, these are real issues. And some people tend to, I think they're overreacting either by the seller, the buyer, um, realtors, you know, they just don't understand it. So I, I think a lot of this information is really helpful. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Okay. We'll be right back.